Uh, so Sony's been having a, a pretty up and down year with with gaming. Yeah. Some some good moments, some bad moments. Uh, I will say that uh, this year, this last half of the year, just has not been very good. They got hacked. They got hacked. Yeah, Sony Pictures. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to just just hammer the point home. Yeah, Sony Pictures um, has been a train wreck. Yeah, they got hacked by our great and powerful leader, Kim Jong Un. Mm-hmm. All hail. Yeah, the American Best government Korea. has now uh, confirmed that the hack was not just uh, North Koreans uh, in general, but right. the North Korean government. Yeah. So we're just going to, I don't know if we're just going to accept that. We're just going to sit down and say, okay, that's fine. We're okay with that. We're just going to slap their hand or find them? Not even. I don't really want to talk about the political repercussions of something like that because neither one, I don't think any of us can talk on that intelligently not enough. Not really. Uh, but what I think it does have is far-reaching consequences on the industry as a whole yeah the entertainment industry definitely uh the the emails that have been coming out they're leaking things every single day you get more and more news i don't know if you guys saw that uh one sony exec wants idris alba as the new bond yes that was, was confirmed that, that one uh, ahead of my dreams exactly yeah, we mentioned that before <laughs> i mean too. It, some of these things that are coming out are, are kind of awesome but at the same time it's like I'd rather have been surprised by some of this stuff. Yeah, I'd rather not go on Facebook and see that Sony was trying to work on like a Mario movie. Right, or, right, right. You know the, what I'm the, saying? the point of all this is that these things were not for us to see. Yet. Right. You know, these, I mean, these were private you, what emails. What do you expect? That doesn't mean any of it is true. It doesn't no. mean. I mean, what do you expect from a movie studio? Of course, yeah. ideas are going to be bouncing around. Oh yeah, everywhere. for sure. That's their job. But, well, it's just the fact that it's not. These aren't fan theories anymore. A lot of this stuff is stuff. People were like, "Oh man, wouldn't it be cool?" Now it's it it it's for it's closer to a reality, especially if a top Zony exec wants Idris Alba. I mean, that that was fan service for us. Now yeah. it's like, "Holy shit, that could actually That's a possibility." And there's, you know, people are actually thinking about that, not just fans, but people who can make decisions. Yeah, business and maker I, or decision makers. I recently saw a George Clooney article that he was talking about how the media has taken this and done the completely wrong thing and basically is, I don't know, embracing the hack and using it as uh, set pieces for them to get better views on their websites. Right. You know, like it's of course. completely backwards. We should be trying to support these the studio, really, right. to protect their stuff. Therefore, we can have maybe our movies back no but we need to know adam yeah we have yeah. to know the latest movie See, ideas and that's the thing like the whole rumor mill is is more important than yeah i guess our national security yeah i mean we've said it before like the the 24-hour news cycle and and getting the getting that article out first is more important than getting the actual like factual article out like right. just having information on your site first is more important than getting the right information on your site right or sharing information that, I mean, I hate to put it this dramatically, but it's hurting America in a way. I don't think that's dramatic. I don't think so. We. That's what I it mean, did. I mean, that's taking, what it did. taking it from yeah. a, a real world perspective, like removing ourselves from like nerd culture and blah, 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 whatever you want to call this. Just looking at it from the outside looking in, I think it does hurt our stance as somebody as a nation that would not stand for something like right. that. Right. And you, you saw in the interviews um Obama put out this this thing saying that uh he was a, disappointed in Sony for backing down on this. That yeah. he wishes that Sony had contacted him and then they could have, you know, had some kind of strategy going into this. But it Well, if you uh give me a movie deal <laughs> we will protect you and your interest. I'm gonna be open for jobs in a you know a few months. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, he's a lame duck. He is a lame duck. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I completely agree with Obama's stance on that front. Like he should, they should have talked to somebody in more power that has more experience with this type of situation. Huh. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, thanks, Obama. That's well, one. What did you see? What the Sony exec? <laughs> yes, the they they came back with a rebuttal. Mm-hmm. What did uh, they say? Basically, that they didn't they didn't back down. They were like, "We would have done it. We love this movie, and we thought it would work." But we but, can't. But if we hype it up now, DV set, DVD sales will soar well, through the fucking well, they roof. Can't, oh my god! They can't put a movie out that no one's gonna play. You know, I can't bring a DVD over, Correct. and if you don't have a DVD, if you're refusing to let me use your DVD player, then 
that movie doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. They're, basically, they're, that's what they were saying. Their big defense was that they didn't choose the vendors' uh, stance as far as if they were going to play the movies oh, or not. So it's just the movie theaters are bad. Yeah, correct. Now. They correct. were afraid of of physical threats and physical harm. Right. To their movie theaters. And then on top of that, uh, people were saying, well, why don't you just put it on video on demand? You know, we're in an internet age right now that you can put out any movie you want right yeah. now on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it. Yeah. And they said something that I'm going to call BS, uh, which they were to the effect of, we haven't found anybody in a major video on demand service that is willing to put it out for streaming and yeah. downloading. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, you know, like no, they're gonna blow up the up. Netflix theaters. Uh, but, yeah, okay. Exactly. Here's an, here's another uh, a great bit of information. Sony owns Crackle. Yes. So <laughs> oh come on, Sony could put it out too. with commercials if they want. Yeah, they could put it out tonight if they wanted to. So yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's bullshit. Bull cocky. So um, yeah, they may put it on Regal Cinemas and AMC and blah blah blah, but. You take a little bit of the blame there. Yeah, for backing down on that. From uh, what I've read, there are. Plenty of movies from North Korea depicting uh, American assassinations. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, not at all. But and we <sighs> but two stoners uh, can't make a stupid ass movie, stupid comedy about killing yeah. Kim Jong Un. <clears throat> right. His dad didn't have a problem with it. Yeah, I'm sure he did, but they just didn't do anything about it. Mm. And. I don't know. Uh, we're talking about Team America, right? Yeah. That's what we were referencing. They didn't kill him in that movie, I don't think. Did they? I, it's been a while. I mean, I they mean, completely they... disrespected They turned oh, yeah. him into yeah. a puppet. They totally disrespected How could you disrespect us, our great and powerful leader? Yeah, yeah. exactly. That, that was a little racist, David. Um, <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, like, after hearing all this news, I can't help but feel a little defeated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As an American. And yeah. I'm not the one to, like, shout from the rooftops, you know... Red blooded American, we got our freedom. These, these colors don't run. These colors don't run, boy. Um, that's a little racist, Adam. That is a little racist. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, like I just, I can't help but feel defeated on, especially because it is a media thing. Mm -hmm. It's this pop culture thing that we're so invested in. Right. Um, this is our world, and they are affecting the dumbass media that we're trying to consume. Yes. It's affecting me personally. They told us we could not watch it. And yeah. we did not. And did you see what the uh, the hackers, I'm using air quotes, um, were saying after they decided to not show the movie anymore? No. Uh, they came back and said, basically, uh, you know, basically, good job. Uh, your data is safe. We still have a lot more of your data. Um, now, the only thing you have to do is make sure it does not get leaked online. Uh, make sure it never goes on any sort of uh, streaming device. Don't put it out in any way. Take down all of the teasers and all the trailers. Uh, and we'll make sure your the rest of your data is secure. So pretty much just make it so the movie doesn't exist. Exactly. That's Listen, what they want. This is America. We don't negotiate with terrorists. But Sony does. That's what I'm saying. Sony's, well, Sony's, Sony's from the Japan. Japanese. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But <laughs> the uh, the Sony movie studios no, shut are up, Adam. based in America. Don't prove our point wrong. Sorry. It was news to me, too, because I had that same stance. But, yeah, apparently this is a company that's based in America. It's this a, is just frustrating. It's very frustrating. So Yeah, and like you said, I, I do. I, I agree. I feel very, very defeated as an American. And as someone who just, I thought, I mean, I thought it looked funny. I wanted to see it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Honestly, I mean, it's probably going to be a horrible movie. It was I, getting sort of bad reviews. <clears throat> yeah. I didn't see that. I saw it getting average to good reviews. Uh, I, I saw it's a Seth Rogen, James Franco flick. How good could it be? This is the end was great. I this is the end um, was great. That was the same team making that, that movie, too. That was the same too. team. All right. Yeah. I will. I will back Pineapple down. Pineapple Express? Not so much. Okay. I don't even want to be a part of this podcast <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Just leave. Put, you put, your, put your headphones down. That movie's hilarious. It's hilarious. Nick Cannon's hilarious. Um, That's right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Bad taste he doesn't in movies. Know. Um, I have to just keep defending my movies every week on this podcast. <laughs> romantic Pine comedies, man. I don't even like Pineapple Express. Rom coms. He loves the rom coms. God. That Marco Dupa loves the rom coms. He he, he loves actually. Just <laughs> just move on. Just move on. That was good. Anyway, yeah. I mean, I just I feel like I can talk for everybody in saying that we <laughs> feel defeated. And yeah. but at the same time, what are we gonna do about it? It's a bad look. 
So that gives any other nation the the okay to go, hey, I don't like this New York Times headline. Yeah. Take it down or else yeah. I'll blow up, you know, the next newsstand. Yeah. that Honestly, that's exactly it. Any yep. other nation could just do exactly what you just said. Anyone proficient on the are, internet. We have set the precedent for anyone who is threatened by American values, American comedy. Well, no. And that's, that's the, the crux of this issue is that we didn't decide that. Sony decided that. Yeah. A, a, a movie studio decided how we would handle something like this. Do you know how much money they would make if they turned around? And, and just they said, decide to put it they out. They said, we'll put it out. Yeah. A lot. A yeah. fuck so ton. much money. Just because, just because they told us we couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Interest it's of the that American movie way. is at an all time high right now. If they decided just, if they did like some surprise release on Crackle at midnight tonight, you better believe I'd download that shit. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Immediately. And I know probably millions of people would. I think people would download it and watch it just to spite North, North Korea, Korea and yeah. say we're America, and this is we we watch movies that we want to watch. Which <laughs> how stupid is that? What a strong stance! How, exactly though, isn't that dumb? Well, that's fucking, well said, Mark. That's yeah. well, very but, inspiring. But that's what I'm saying though. The fact that this even needs to be said <laughs> is a sad state of affairs, Marco, man. You would be the one. That fights for his right to watch crappy movies. You're goddamn right I would. Yep. Fight to the death. Strap on an M16. Going to North Korea, boys. Hey, we're here. Love, actually. For the bad movies. Everything's so politically correct. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, it sucks. That that holdup in Australia? Uh, yes, yes. Snipers had a shot. Interesting. And they didn't take it. Why? I thought... We don't negotiate with terrorists. We don't. America. No, but they're part of the same same treaty as us. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Was it? Was it Geneva? The convention? Geneva Convention. Yeah. No, no. no. America doesn't negotiate with terrorists. Well, they should have sent a know what goddamn Australia American does. over there to handle their <laughs> fucking problems. They had sixteen hours. John McClane. Yeah, get over there. That's enough for. I, I don't know. How long is a flight to Australia? Probably a little longer than sixteen. I don't know. Hours. Slap them on a Concorde. I don't care. There you go. Get him in there in F-16. Jump out. You get a Brit on a Concorde to fly him to Australia. There you go. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I'm just... We, I, that's it. That's all we, we can't... What, what can we do? We just... We we lost. You wanted to uh, to keep the spirits up? <laughs> this is the way to do it. And then we didn't. Well, because... this was the plan. To, we start high and then we just dive. And then we just, we dive, just dive. beat people down with... Okay, 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 okay.